I hope everyone had a great Amon Cat release weekend, whether it was FNM, Draft Weekend, or just watching the Standard Open on the SCG Tour Twitch channel. The top 8 from the Standard Open was dominated by Mardu Vehicles lists, which was not unexpected with only two days between the Felidar Guardian ban announcement and the start of the tournament on Saturday. Mardu Vehicles took up five of the top 8 slots, including in the hands of Andrew Jessup, who went on to win his first Open. The other three slots were rounded out by White Red Humans, Black Green Delirium, and Mono Black Aggro. However, looking further down the results shows some promise for the new standard. In the top 16, there were seven Mardu Vehicle lists, two Teamer Etherworks, and another seven individual lists. And while vehicles took up 28% of the top 64, we still see 23 unique decks overall. Looking at the standard classic on the weekend shows a bit more diversity. The top eight consisted of seven different archetypes with only two Mardu vehicles, and the winner of the event, Sam Lowe, piloted Bant Etherworks to the top spot. Looking down the line to the top 32, we see 18 different decks with vehicles only taking up six of those spots, or 18% of the top tables. With Felidar Guardian out of the format, there also seems to be a resurgence of black-green base decks taking up a total of 22% of the top 32. The next few years of Magic sets have been in development for some time now, and all we know about some of them are the internal set code names that Wizards gives them. Each set of code names for the last several years has followed a tradition of groups of names for the block. For example, it was recently revealed that the Fall 2017 set, codenamed Ham, will officially be called Ixalan, and the follow-up, codenamed Eggs, should be releasing sometime in January. On his blog today, head designer Mark Rosewater stated that the internal code names for set will be moving away from these grouped conventions and moving to a single theme that progresses alphabetically in order to make things easier for the internal teams. The first theme will be sports and starts with the fall 2019 set, codenamed Archery, followed by the January 2020 set, Baseball. By the way, on Reddit, the best guess for the fall 2023 set is Quidditch, obviously. Over the weekend, the Magic Man Sam released a new video not focused on art. Sam's new video essay revolves around the card Pithy Needle, including its often mispronounced name. He gives the history behind the real-world practice of pithing, and then goes over some of the history of the card, including some of the confusing interactions that can happen with it. Also on the Tolarian Community College YouTube channel this last weekend, The Professor and the Command Zone's Josh Lee Kwai return with the newest episode of their Magic Debate program, in response. The first topic was filmed before the emergency ban of Felidar Guardian and covers reasons why it should have been banned after last Monday's banned and restricted announcement. The professor is then joined by Nate Holt of Enter the Battlefield to discuss the increase in product releases, and Graham Stark of Loading Ready Run debates with the professor on Channel Fireball's exclusive contract to run Grand Prix events starting in 2018. That's our show for today, May 1st. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with all the latest magic news and strategy. I'm Jeremy Knoll, and this has been Split Second. However, looking further down the... Ugh, seven un in unidentified list.